Hello, what's up? I'm the Ultimate Doom here doing another video for you guys and this time special thanks to the domain for supporting and sending this stuff out. We've got one bag, we've got two bags, we've got three bags, four bags, five bags, and six bags of the Halo Universe line to open. I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these and uh, I don't know what pack to necessarily start off with, so let's just grab one. Might as well organize them to look better. Eeny, meeny, miny, this one. Oh god, I miss opening these bags. You have no idea how nostalgic this feels. They don't sell them out here for some reason, and I don't know why. Alright, we've cut that bag. Let's go ahead and spill out the beans, and we've got the... Aster, not Aster Spartan, whatever you want to call it. It's the, the front runner of the bag, apparently, in the purple transparency. Yay, they got the legs all built up. Now, if only they could have done that with the waist, because that's the most difficult part. I don't mind the transparency figures. I mean, I, I wanted it anyways, obviously. They're not necessarily my favorite, but this one in particular does remind me of some of those booster packs that came out a long time ago, so I kind of like that. Usually I have to pop out the legs anyways to get the waist on. I know I should probably just open the bags first and then build them off camera, but uh, I wanted to build at least one of these guys. And of course the waist is impossible to pop on. All right, I got it in. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Add some chest armor for his nipples to be protected. Some back armor as well. I do like the purple transparency. You know what? I just remembered there is one specific purple transparent figure from those original booster frame sets, so that's pretty cool. There's the helmet with the really weird visor. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Just looks a little too sinister, I guess. Gotta add some shoulder armor. I believe these are Reach style armor, too, which is kind of funny because this is a typical, I guess, Halo Infinite design? I don't know, I kind of lost track on some of these Spartans. Hey, Commander Rifle! This is my second time getting that. And a base plate, and there is the first Spartan. I'm not gonna do builds for each of them, I'm just gonna do that off camera. Again, it was the first one, so I thought might as well. Hey, stand up. You! You wanted to be open next. Let's open you next. I also need to point out, I'm not sure if this is an entire set, because Simon said that, uh, <laughs> Simon says, Simon said that he couldn't get one of them, so I, I don't know if he just doubled up on another figure. This is the UNSC Marine! Yeah, I do like that. I, I like the original style torso from the uh, new articulation style when they were trying to introduce the, uh, I think it was Halo 2 Marines. The ones in the Bravo series, I meant. Also, his head kind of looks like Shaggy, so that's a plus. All right, move that off to the side. Let's open another bag. Cut, 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 cut. And let's spill out the contents, and we've got a purple, not purple, I know my colors. That is a blue original style CE Spartan. Look at them, we got we got a pair of pants. I'm actually gonna zoom into that. You don't need to be that far away. But yes, that is the blue Spartan. That looks fantastic. I love that particular color on it. I think that looks nice. All right, let's see. Uh, I wanna open this bag next. Cut, 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 cut. Let's spill out the contents inside. And we've got one of the brutes, which is fantastic. I've wanted one of these because I know, they look kind of neat. Now I wonder which configuration I'm gonna put the belt on. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That is a very soft rubber that's wrapped around his leg. Move that off to the side. Let's open another one. I'm gonna open this one because why not, you know? You can't tell me what to do. Let's spill out the contents inside. And we got the yellow elite. So the next bag, I have no idea what's inside in particular, but this yellow elite I've wanted for a while. I, I love getting elites and I wanted more recolors of this particular one. It's from the Halo Wars 2 game. I thought, oh, we could get some purple, maybe some blue, maybe even some green ones. And they just did like red and then I think an orange. But with that out of the way, what's in the last bag? Let's go ahead and cut this one right open, shall we? And it is, <gasps> yes it is. So this is the one that Simon told me he could not get. It is the White Grunt, and I'm so happy because that means we have a complete Halo Universe Series 1 mystery bag team. Oh my god, it's been... It's so weird opening bags to complete a series because I haven't done that in a while. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy about that. Let's go ahead and build them off camera. All right, so here's everything put together, and they look lovely, don't get me wrong, but I need to point this out. And it's not that I'm ungrateful. Trust me, I appreciate Simon doing this, especially getting the entire wave out for me. That is awesome of him to do. But I need to point this out that the tolerances for certain pegs were abysmal this time around. 
the peg holes for the waist would not support the pegs themselves. The brute was the worst of it. I could not get that in. I had to spend about 10 minutes trying to plug that in. And even then I had to sand down the peg hole. And even then it still wouldn't go in properly and is barely fitting in. The helmet for the Elite was a little too tight. And certain other things, certain other pegs were just... The pegs were too big for the holes and it just would not go in properly so Mega needs to rework that and fix that because that was an ongoing problem for a while but I, I, I kept you know myself quiet with that because I was fine you know I was able to fix it but for this particular wave it was unforgivable it was just bad but I do like the choices of figures I was able to fix them. I do really like the blue on this Spartan in particular. I think that looks lovely. The choices are pretty good and I'm curious to see what else they would do for a mystery pack Halo Universe wave. Apparently the next one's going to be Halo Infinite, but past that, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do that. And thank you Simon from the Domain for sending this out, and I will see you guys next time.